Alright everybody, what's up? Today we're going to talk about the CSGO like economy and trading and how it's going. Um, it's kind of going to be about the from nothing to something and why it hasn't been like going on and uploading. Um, but anyway, let's just get right into it. Um, so for starters, I'm just going to talk about the current CSGO economy and the state of it and kind of why I don't like it and why I've basically given up given up on trading in the CSGO economy and for starters let's just say it's not even trading anymore the CSGO economy is all about betting and gambling and like uncrating uncasing and then going off and just gambling it and there really is no trading going on like I can go on CSGO lounge post a trade I'll maybe get a few trade offers or trades in general but after a while you just get these like random low balls or maybe some just unnecessary trades where it's just like why would I ever do this trade and the rest is just people like YouTube and Twitch TV in their gambling spree and just them gambling it's really not even about the game or trading anymore it's just about gambling um so let's just show you all of the gambling websites first you got Cisco lounge you got all of these random gambling websites all about gambling nothing else just gambling you do nothing more than gamble not even trading at least Cisco lounge has trading but this is betting 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 I have so many more listed but I just decided to I just closed one out but I just decided to show these few obviously the most well known is jackpot which has basically created all of these other gambling websites based off this one um, and they're all about gambling it's not even about trading you just gamble it's almost as if nobody even cares about trading anymore they just want to gamble get more skins gamble get more skins and gamble like if even if you go on twitch.tv go to CSGO typically the top streamers are just gambling they're not even playing the game they are just sitting on a website maybe playing the game here and there doing a giveaway and then gambling it's just gambling I honestly I can't get really any trades and that's kind of the reasoning behind why I've kind of given up on CSGO trading and um, in general the from nothing to something which honestly I'm kind of rethinking it and I think I'm gonna go back and do some TF2 from nothing to something instead because it's all about gambling. Another big factor that I greatly disliked about the CSGO economy or community for trading in general is the fact that we have these operations, they have new cases, they allow you to go gamble and buy some keys, gamble, 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 um, and then you basically go and look at the previous items from the previous operation and they just drop like crap, like everything in that category basically drops like a turd, like um, I had a lot of skins in the past and then a new operation comes out they all drop they kind of go but back up after the drop but not really and then they just kind of stay at that price and then after a few operations pass maybe they'll go up a little bit um, a lot like some of the items I have um, like especially the I buy power sticker um, hollow which I have on this gun it's worth over four hundred dollars right now it was originally worth like ten dollars that's around the time when I got it and then after a while passed it just became really rare and increased in price but everything in the more recent operations have dropped dramatically especially like Azimov items like the skins that everyone not everyone but a lot of people like in general and they've just been dropping after each operation um, so if you just look at the ops they dropped pretty good the mana wars dropped really good um, so that's another factor I do not like as well as the pricing um, a lot of stuff is based off the steam community like a lot of people don't look at the average so just look at what recently sold so let's just look at like the AK 47 red line um, although it's pretty hard to change the price of this just due to the fact that it's pretty common but for like knives trading um, you can really screw up the price um, just by well I mean you'll need a few people to sell it for the price to show up there um, but you can easily change the price of an item just by either buying it all out and changing the price which you could do with lower item skins like buy them all out but for higher tier skins if a few people like decide to quick sell it um, it will cause the price to drop and people will just look at that price in general rather than looking at the average they just decide oh well these guys just kind of sold theirs off for a quick sell maybe for like an operation especially people try and quick sell it so they can buy their 
operation passes and maybe some keys and cases but if people start to quick sell it you're gonna cause the price to drop and let's see if we can find any on the op asimov it's probably harder to find them on the asimov but they have a weird spike there pretty random but anyway maybe this is this current operation they were up here and then the operation comes out and they just drop so that's kind of what i dislike about the csgo pricing even pricing websites they base all their pricings off the steam market as well so it's kind of messy i guess but it's better some ways it's better than a community no i think community pricing it is better but like if you compare it to tf2 trading in general like backpack.tf you price there although it's really bad for unusual pricing because it's I don't really like it. I, I don't trust it. Um, but for normal items, I feel like it's fine because people as a community have to like come together and show maybe if the price is raised, they'll show proof that someone purchased it for a certain price. And multiple people, if they show proof around the same general price, they can either increase the price or decrease the price. Um, but other than that, I, I, I don't know. It's kind of half-half. But I, I think I like TF2's pricing guide a lot more because the market is just kind of weird all right so enough ranting about the current csgo economy so thank you guys so much for watching that's all i have to say tell me what you think about the current like way the csgo economy is going where it's just all about gambling and betting um and all that type of stuff tell me what you guys think do you like it or do you not like it because honestly i I've had my fair share of betting. I lost like $400 on jackpot in the past, but that was quite a while ago. But yeah, so tell me what you guys think. Thank you so much. And I might start TFTs from nothing to something. Uh, I'm still trying to get keys and then un I'm deciding to uncrate to start just like I do for my CSGO from nothing to somethings. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, that's all for today.